Collectible card games have become a hot commodity in the last couple of years. First edition base set box breaks, beta black lotus pulls, first edition Charizards opened. These cards have gone for thousands of dollars. But what about Yu-Gi-Oh? One of the world's largest trading card games has not seen a deal close to that magnitude. Until now. You are about to hear the story of history's largest Yu-Gi-Oh deal. What's up guys, I'm headed to LA to complete the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh deal of all time. It is going to be absolutely insane. So let's go to the airport. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you? <laughs> in about 45 minutes, we're going to head over and make the largest Yu-Gi-Oh deal of all time. So this is Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. We are going there together. What do you expect for us to see and what's going to happen at this deal? I'm getting, getting nervous. This is, to my knowledge, probably at least two to three times as big as any other Yu-Gi-Oh transaction that I've heard of. We are hoping to see a complete Metal Raiders case, first edition, still in its original cardboard box from 2002. 12 boxes. Yeah, 12 boxes in a case. And then the seller also has, he sold one LOB box to, to another person, then he has 11 boxes left still in the, yeah, it's, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> he has 11 first edition glossy trihorn boxes in, a, in the original case still from March of 2002. So we're going to look at them, and if all goes well, um, we will be the, the new owners along with uh, many other people. So there could be two, maybe even three blue eyes in those boxes. Yeah, yeah. So 10 ultras, odds are there's one in every five boxes, and, and we're getting 11 boxes, hopefully. So yeah, there's potential for, you know, two of every ultra and three or four or five copies of every super rare. And then they're only triumph boxes, so no no guy the Dragon Champions can be pulled. So uh, what was the total amount for this deal? We're doing our due diligence. We're opening, um, we're gonna weigh the boxes, look at the seals. Ruxin has volunteered tribute as to open the box he purchased. <laughs> and we are going to uh, weigh the packs. We know what the boxes and packs should weigh. So we're gonna weigh the packs. He's gonna open a pack, confirm the authenticity of the cards inside the pack. If that all looks good, then um, me and the seller are gonna go into the bank and I'm going to wire him the rest of the money and the total deal is just over a quarter million dollars. Bruh. So we're gonna see if this quarter million dollar deal works out and we're about to head out there in a few minutes, so. One minute until arrival. <laughs> nice and bright. So I've been really careful with the plastic wrap yeah. because it's yeah. friction. Yeah. You know? so yeah. The yeah. Way I've been doing it is I've been tilting it. Yeah. So can I, can I show you? Yep. 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 Yeah. So this one I already did that. There's one missing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Shade. Yeah. That's good. No seals on the side. Nice crisp corners. The seal. The seal looks pretty yeah, good. There's yeah, there's a so like that actually double, looks just like the one I just yeah, had. Yeah, the double flap there on the back. Man, yeah, you did your homework. Yeah, yeah. I know about that. <laughs> I, yeah, quarter I, million. Do your homework. Yeah, I own I own enough of them. I've opened enough of them and seen enough. Yeah, of them. I just bought one of these recently, and I opened it, and it was like it looks a lot like these. But so that's not then, much. there's no real knowledge on 
there's not a secret in every box so yeah. <laughs> there's no no guarantee what you're gonna pull and is it getting there now right yeah yeah they are especially the LODs. they're really tough i opened one earlier this year and it was i think in january it was like 6800 is what i paid so they've already gone up to three times or whatever now yeah uh, the first one i ever bought was back in uh 2017 i bought an lob box for one thousand dollars so they went up they went up that much since yeah. then yeah how did you how did you magically stumble upon these 20 years ago like what got you into it yeah that's crazy yeah it's because of the pokemon card yeah I, yeah yeah i was like maybe these will be uh something right you were into pokemon like were you were you into pokemon. you were just buying it I, I was going to buy pokemon and the price went up so yes, like, all the, the uh, the boat. All so then you like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. That's I, I was doing uh, Magic the uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. All yeah. the uh, like none of these have been popped out. First, first edition stamp should say Carlsbad, California. Should be able to read the upper deck symbol. All the barcodes I think have been the same, which should be the case. Yep. Nine seven seven. I really hate that you even have to put them back all the way. That's, that's the second time those have been removed. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, the first time was when I did it. You had never removed them until you took the pics? One box. That yeah. is crazy. So and these are because, like... Because this guy made me do a you know, fashion show. <laughs> yeah, thing. that's pretty wild that they never left the case. Yeah, so this this box of lava right here, the first the first time, only one time. So this is going to be the second time as, as well. So I only took two out. <laughs> This is great. So, seal straight across the front. Right, doesn't focus in on there. Doesn't overlap okay. the corner here. <laughs> yeah. That one kind of does, but not like the other one. There was a couple fake ones that's been open recently, but you could just tell pretty much that that like the seal went all the way out here yeah. on both sides. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, this is good. Yeah, Barcode's good. Never been popped open. Seal's vertical. And most of the time, the glossy boxes are not faked either. So I guess we'll three-way this one. Yeah, until that recent one. Okay, so that these three have been right around 358. Super crazy. If you had gotten antsy and sold a couple years ago, a case, a sealed case sold for only fifty thousand dollars. So you're doing you're doing a lot better than that guy did. <laughs> yeah, fifty thousand about three years ago. So, so yeah, or uh, four. I'd say get like a video of all the all the seals there, showing that they're all uniform. So Phil, you get to choose your poison on what box you want to open. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your own I'll probably get two on Exodia there. limbs. Do you have any preference, Phil, on which one? Um, go with the very, very heaviest, or um, give yourself I, the best chance to pull a trihorn? I don't know, man. I guess what is this? The heavy stack? We'll yeah, just take one of these. That's a whole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll reweigh the heavy stack for you real fast. And yeah. So we got points. Okay, just take that one. Yeah. Let's not let's not take too long. Okay. So I'll get my scissors. We had to, I mean, are you sure? Are you, <laughs> he's going with fake. It's a big purchase. Yeah, I, so we, there's uh, no actual date on if it actually means anything that they're heavy no. yet. So there's, oh, okay. it'd just be speculation. So we think. flew with only... Um, yeah, we couldn't open we, it. Yeah, we flew with only carry-on, so we couldn't bring scissors, so we had to go to Target to buy a pair of scissors. <laughs> and I brought, some, I brought like a starter deck carbon to open and stuff. I'm like, I have a pocket knife. All right. Yeah. All right. So you want me to just go ahead and open it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. Number two of 2020. Yeah. This is your third one? Third one? No, no, just second. Oh, yeah, man. 2020 one. has been a long year. <laughs> very, very long year. All right. So let's get that. Just be really careful here. So yeah, I don't know how Konami did it, but in glossy boxes, most of the time, hollow packs weigh like a, a tenth of a gram more. Mm -hmm. And you can tell what, which six packs have hollows in them in other sets. But for some reason in glossy boxes, you cannot really scale the packs out. Oh, so yeah. that kind of forces you to open all yeah, the packs when you don't really want to. Yeah, I had That's to crazy. open everything when I opened my... It's crazy that people just sell the empty box. For like a hundred bucks. Yeah, or so. yeah, yeah. And do people buy it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, do they buy it stuff. so that they can fake selling it? No, I think they want to buy it so they some can, they can display too. it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay. So, you getting this? Yeah. All right, here we go. So crimping looks good. Should if I, I just... really, if I really knew it, uh, people know the number of crimps along the top edge. Jesus. Wow. Okay, let's look at these, these. These look, I mean, they look right. These Flap look really looks nice. good. I mean, they're chunky is, packs. That is like completely sealed. Yeah, that looks really nice. All right, so should we yeah, weigh the yeah, packs yeah. out? Yeah. Weigh all twenty-four. Let's just open this one up and see what happens. It's just more excitement than anything else. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. Oh. This is uh, twenty years in the. In the <laughs> this is open. Let's check out what's yeah, in here. Yeah, it just like fell open. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, let's see. We might have to open to a hollow to make sure. Definitely mint. Okay. Yeah. All right, come here. Definitely real cards. Yeah, the cards are 100% real. They would be much redder on the back and if they were the not. And then the text would be off too. Okay. Dark gray. Okay. Crimped, crimped. It's a secret layer. Okay, these are 100% real. That's for sure. But of course it's crimped. That's a ton of so in a PSA 10, it would be over $1,000. Do you see the top edge? Yeah. So that's why the pack didn't seal because yeah, that- Yeah, because it was crimped. That, that right there stopped it from the crimping the pack. Oh, is that an error? I mean, people, someone might pay more or less for it. Wow. Bring that boy out in the sun. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I was like, what is going on with this pack? Because it just like fell open. Yeah. And the reason is because they sealed it onto the card. Oh. And this is the secret rare, like- Yeah, so you're not guaranteed that car out of this box, so. Wow, okay, oh, that's actually- no. No. All right, where are your sleeves at? Yeah. <laughs> where do you want me to aim it? Just keep it on him. I'll get okay. there. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Actually, want to say something? <laughs> I did it. Some people are like, "What are they doing? Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Are they playing pog? I haven't seen that in like 20 years. Yeah, we'll get you a fresh one. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Wow, that's wild. <clears throat> Only he pulls all the weird misprint cards. <laughs> like I wouldn't call that a misprint. I don't. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I think it's. Bad, but it's also cool. Yeah. So it might be okay. I mean, yeah, you want to open one? I'd rather pull that than an ultra rare. Do you want to open one more or not? Like no, light, I don't. I pulled a, a secret one? rare. I'm not. I'm no. not ruining the rest. You want to open a light one? Just to. Just to what? Just to make sure. <laughs> we got a secret rare. We're good. Okay. I'm saving this for later. We'll do another video. We'll yeah, open man. those. Cool. Thank you. Sure. That is crazy. All right, but that's a good sign that's though it. that it came out of the first back. We didn't have to open too much. Hey, yeah, you want to go through the rest just to count and make sure there's eight in there? Three. Six. There's a little crimpage on the top of those. That's eight. wild. Yeah. Eight, yeah, eight I was cards. kind of worried that pack just fell open. I opened one of these the other day, and I had t it had ten cards in it. It was heavy because it had an extra common in it. Yeah. They, oh. So I thought it was a foil. The quality and I was control like, is just all over the place. So Let's get these one last time. Look at that. Yeah. You're and there you have it, guys. The largest deal in Yu-Gi-Oh history. Two hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars was spent on those 23 boxes between several people, myself included, I got one Legend Blue Eyes First Edition booster box, which you guys saw me open, and you will be seeing the rest open tomorrow, so make sure you guys are there. But back to the deal, it was incredible, it was crazy, I flew to LA, probably the craziest thing I've ever done. And it was really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can do some more insane stuff like this for cardboard in the future. Do me a favor and share this video because I think this was one of the coolest videos I've ever made. Appreciate all you guys supporting it. We will be doing more crazy stuff including that Legend of Blue Eyes first edition box opening tomorrow. So I'll see you there. Oh! Yes! Oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh.